Just cleared for publication, Israel's National Security Agency, the Shin Bet, has busted a terror cell in East Jerusalem that was plotting the assassinations of top government leaders, including the prime minister and the mayor of Jerusalem. The group was also plotting an attack on the American consulate in Jerusalem and other American and Canadian targets. Authorities say the terror cell involved would-be attackers with Israeli ID cards, and the cell was directed by handlers based in Syria. Jerusalem's mayor responding today to the news. As the threat was being managed, I was updated and knew that when security services were in the picture and the police were in the field, I can rely on them and sleep quietly and confidently. Throughout this whole period, I was adamant not to change anything in my daily routine because it is important not to let terror dictate the pace of the day. Still with me in studio is retired IDF Colonel Security Expert Dr. Shak Neria. But first, let's turn to our uh, senior defense correspondent, Shai ben -Ari, reporting live for us from the field and near the Israel-Gaza border. Shai, how advanced was this plot to assassinate senior leaders, hit American targets? How far along were they? Right. We understand this was in the initial planning stages. This was still in the stage of collecting information and intelligence uh, along those lines of actually planning to uh, maybe even assassinate the Israeli prime minister, uh, as well as the Jerusalem mayor near Berkat, and also uh, targeting certain diplomatic installations in Jerusalem belonging to both the U.S. and Canada. Again, in the initial stages, we have seen similar plots uh, that reached a similar stage in the past and were thwarted f uh, fairly earlier, uh, as, as this one was indeed. One of the more interesting points here uh, is that this was apparently directed from a certain terror operative based in Syria, belonging to the uh, Popular Front for the Liberation of Palestine, a uh, militant Palestinian organization which has indeed been based in Syria for quite some time and has, uh, it is also somewhat allied to the Syrian uh, regime. We've seen this kind of thing before. There have been uh, operatives in the past who have tried to uh, really try, tried to operate different uh, cells in the West Bank with uh, varying degrees of success. In recent years, we've seen that the Israeli security establishment has been able to crack down on this fairly effectively.